Vlogmas Day something. Yeah. I still haven't uploaded the other three videos. Uh, that'll I probably... feel like there's more than three at this point. Uh, yeah, there might be four. This might be the fifth one. Um, so, can you tell where we're going? Anybody? Anybody at all? Any, any, anybody? Any, anybody? Any, any? No? Nobody? Any, anybody? So, we are going to the Amway Center for our first professional sporting event since March. March 3rd, you said was the yes. last one? Um, so before we had moved down here, the last sporting event we had went to was a Penguins game. Do you remember who they were playing that night? Ottawa Senators. Ottawa Senators. And, it was um, 90s night. 90s night, yeah, I do remember that. And uh, yeah, that was the last sporting event that we had went to. So tonight we are going to the Amway Center to see the Magic play the Heat. The Miami Heat. The Miami Heat. You're welcome. I, I know who they are. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not that. I'm not that dumb. I'm really not. I promise. I I know a lot more about sports than the average woman does. I promise. So we're gonna kind of tell you guys how the whole experience is. Um, we're figuring a lot of people are wondering how the experience is gonna be going to professional sporting events. Yeah. Um, so just to kind of give you a brief synopsis before we go to the game tonight, we do have to fill out waivers, basically saying that we haven't been around anybody that's had COVID. Yeah, so John got these tickets from Game Time. Um, for those of you unaware, it's kind of like a third party. Um, uh, it's an app where you can buy tickets from somebody else. So the person that we bought them off of bought them from Ticketmaster and obviously couldn't go or had other plans or something. And then John bought them from the third party. Uh, so one of the things was that he got an email saying that we had to download an app called Clear and fill out um, our information but there was a, a bump in the road I have an expired license because I we are switching like our licenses over to Florida and uh, mine's expired so I wasn't able to do the app so they just said you know John called and got it cleared up they just said to there's a tent outside that you have to fill out the waiver that he was just talking about uh, before you are allowed entry um, some of the questions were have you been exposed to COVID? Have you been around somebody who has been exposed to COVID? You know, I mean, the typical things that we would expect right now during these times. Yeah. So, Also, the Magic are going to be doing a capacity of around 4,400 tonight. So we're going to kind of show you guys what it's like to go to an NBA game during COVID. So. Yeah, I'm excited. So uh, as you guys can see, we're outside of the Amway Center here in downtown Orlando. Kathy is filling out her paperwork, but I kind of just wanted to show you here. They've got different levels of going through to make sure that you've done everything correctly. Over here, they have uh, Magic employees telling you how to download the app. And if you can't get the app to work for some odd reason, you come over to this tent where Kathy's standing. You're heading up to our seats. Yeah, it was a pretty painless process. You literally just go up, um, you fill out a paper, a hard copy of it, and then for him, he had like a Scantron thing and he just showed it. Yeah, and they just let us right through. And that was it. Everybody's being super nice. I think they're just super excited to, to have be, their jobs back. And, and to be back in the arena. To be back here because this is the first sporting event, like we said, um, since COVID. So we're super as you, excited. As you can see, there's almost no one here. And they, usually <laughs> opening night for sporting events, I don't know if you guys are really into sports or not, is like a sold out event. You yeah. can't breathe. The last time we were here was November 10th of last year. It was on our honeymoon, and there were probably about 20,000 people here. Yeah. So it's a vast difference from what we're used to. This is the only person that's near me right now. Like, this is so creepy to me. Because usually when you're inside these basketball stadiums and hockey arenas, you can't hear yourself think as soon as you step in. It is eerily quiet in here. So as you can see, a lot of these stands are closed because of COVID, so even like the little ones are closed. Um, this is the closest person to us right now. It is eerily quiet, so just a heads up, if you are used to coming to sporting events, it's going to be a lot different than what you're used to. So these are our seats. Uh, we're in section 221. Pretty high up, but I think this is about where we were last time. Yeah, we were kind of, like we were in the first row the last time we came. Yeah. Um, so it's pretty cool. And then they also put on the seats, these free shirts. I, you can't see it. I'll show it to you guys later though, whenever we get home. But I just want to kind of give you an idea of where we're sitting. So the Magic and the Heat are uh, warming up down there just a little bit. I just want to show you guys too. There's one of the banners for the Solar Bears, right? If I can point to it, where's my finger? There's my finger right there. <laughs> and they will be there. Uh, 
we'll be back here in less than a week now to see the solar bears play. And yes, we will. This one's very excited. Super zoom. <laughs> Super zoom. So there's also this cool thing where there's a QR code up here, and then you lose your phone, and you pay this or that. It's not really interactive. And then you get to see who's picking what. It's kind of cool, like right before the game. Yeah, it's really awesome. And they're also doing um, cashless uh, food. So if you want to order food, you want to buy clothes, you just do this cashless stuff, and then you just go pick it up. It's pretty cool. Ham or turkey? If you don't pick turkey, you're a communist. I'm a communist then, because I would pick ham. So this is the um, online... Uh, what would you call this? Menu. Menu. So you just order and then you would go pick it up. If you're in the club seating, it actually has in seat delivery. Yeah. Those are obviously a little bit more expensive. Um, but we did have tacos here the last time, I believe. Yeah. And it was really good. We haven't really. Yeah, but you just order it here and then you go down there. It's kind of like it's like a mobile ordering. Yeah. But you're sitting in your seat when you have order. So that's pretty cool. And then you get like, I oh, look, I got different nuts. Yeah, different nuts, yeah. Um, they do have pretty strict rules um, about keeping your mask on. So there are guys down here, right there. Um, if they see you without a mask on, they will tell you, and they are very uh, strict with that. So. Look at this. The magic burger. Oh, the magic thing. I wonder what that, what's on that. It looks beautiful. It's fantastic. So, pretty much the same thing for the one that's in. Yeah. And then they have this announcement. Thus, for more information on our health and safety guidelines, please visit OrlandoMagic.com slash health and safety.
we're, we're about like what 20 30 minutes into our first NBA COVID game. Yeah. Um, it's not too bad so far. The um, only thing that's awkward to me is like how quiet it is. It feels like you're at like a high school game where like yes. no one cares. I can hear the ba balls bouncing and I can tell you now the last time we were here you could not even hear the balls bouncing because there was so much activity yeah. and and so many people. The only thing I will say that I really like about it is the fact that there's nobody next to us, so I don't feel like this. Yeah, I feel like... Because, I mean, I do have, I mean, I don't want to say I have broad shoulders, but I like to be able to stretch out a little bit, and you can definitely do that with, uh, you know, the, the, the social distancing. Oh, and this is the shirt that they don't gave us. John actually put it on over top of his shirt, so. Because my shirt's a little too small. <laughs> so, it's a nice little shirt that they gave you for free, so. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and help the Magic and L3 Harris recognize Ashley Croker and all the military first responders and frontline health care staff attending the game tonight for their heroes. Oh, it's our favorite uh, mascot TikTok. I was gonna say our favorite mascot TikTok. Our favorite mascot TikTok? No. There he is. We kind of had a situation at halftime we had to deal with with the uh, concession stands. Yeah. So. Down by four. So time. We still have 12 minutes, so we're good. Right. So uh, we'll do an update. Hey, 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 hey. We finally, we won the game. <laughs> yeah, first magic win. <laughs> 113 to 107. Uh, it was getting kind of tight there at the end, like real close and just a lot of rivalriness, you know? I was People very, uh, you sat on the edge of the seat if you know sport references. Yeah, and like with basketball, it's either you're within like a couple points or you're within like 20 yeah. and you don't have anything to worry about. And we were within a couple points for like the whole fourth quarter. So it was tight. Uh, we pulled through though and we had a blast. So. Yeah. Uh, We'll Definitely, we're coming back to more magic games. Yes, we will. And we'll see you guys on the next adventure.